Witnesses were pretty shaken up and that chase started in Byram and ended right here on this person's front lawn in Jackson. And it was a pretty graphic crash site. Byron police and JPD at the scene of a fatal crash that started with a police pursuit. You're in your house, you hear a noise, you come out and you see something like this. It's a shocker. It's just very sad. It's tragic though. You know, for you to chase someone, now they don't lost now this dude don't lost his life. Katisha Lampkin was sitting on her porch when she saw Byron police chasing a green Honda Accord through her neighborhood. Oh, they was going pretty fast. They even ran the stop sign. According to the Byron Police Chief, officers attempted a traffic stop when the driver, 42-year-old Earl Wigley Jr., took off. Investigators say police began chasing Wigley until he flipped a woman's truck at the intersection of Leach Street and Savannah. Wigley died at the scene. The suspect of the Green Hunter Corps didn't stop at this stop sign and broadside of the Chevrolet Silverado. And then to come out and see that the lady's, a lady's gotten hurt, a man's gotten hurt, and one lost his life, that's a hard thing to deal with during the day. One witness who did not want to be on camera was startled when he heard the crash. The, the boom was loud. It was to the point to where it got your attention, no matter what you were doing. Witnesses weren't the only ones who were shaken up. The Byron Police Chief tells me his officers involved were sent home early for the rest of the day. In Jackson, Michaela Franklin, 16 WAPT News.